Steve Gardena, Hans Toshiv. Oh, it has been a great week. Um, I haven't left my little box room, classroom all week. Um, I've been correcting your work and um, doing lots of videos. So I had keen law at that own in you. Neil, Neil Kluge. Neil Clue, is it? On Lewin, on Vart, on Kading, on Derding, on Ina, on Sarah, no on Downock. Keen law at own in you. <gasps> In you on Ina. Where is it? On Ina. Day Hina ta on in you. My favourite day of the week. It must be Friday. It's Friday. Fun day Friday. Okay. Can say you're a ta on. Well, on Tarak, on Sara, on four, no on Gira. Well, we've been working on it all week in Guilga. And you have been out and about in all corners of County Clare uh, sh looking for signs of this month or this se season on Sejur Sasha. <laughs> so it must be on Tarok at Ta'an. So if it's on Tarok, can me at Ta'an? Is it Fiara Marta Eyebrow? Hope you all have a good fun and a good um, time watching and maybe trying out. The um, Mina and the Bliana Macarena. Okay. So is it Mina, Fiora, Me, Marta, Mia, Braun? It is Fiora. Which means it's February. So excellent. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit more back, back. I, I think I know where I am now. It's Friday. It's February. It's springtime. Um, and let's have a good end to this week. I have loved all your homework. I have loved all your stories and news. It's my favorite part of the whole week is hearing your news because it's your news and your work. And I love it. Um, I've heard some reading. I've heard phonics. I have seen lovely pictures of nature walks and animals being born, new animals on the farms. Um, na uin, na le. It's just been fantastic. Your maths has been unbelievable. The amount of maths been done, I didn't expect that at all. You don't have to do all the pages. You know, it's you're just the best class. Well done. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to the next part of our Friday meeting, which will be um, explaining what we're doing today. So, as I said, it's Friday, the February, and the date is the 12th of the 2nd, 2021. So, we're in the 12th day of the second month in the year 2021. Amazing. Um, so, for Friday, today, I said we do a five things Friday or a five, five for Friday kind of thing. So, um, we'll do... Five fun facts, jokes, fun things at the end. Uh, we'll do five spellings, five tables, five phonics, and five work it outs. Okay, five of everything. Uh, so we better get started on that. So for the test, I you can do it into your test copy. That is super. You can just do it on a piece of paper to practice rough informal that's absolutely fine too you can say them out loud you can you can listen to the video pause it and just call out the, the answer just right there and then uh, use this video however you want and however works for you um so we're going to start with five english spellings from your list for this week uh, are you ready Okay, you were doing the Y says E words. First spelling, number one is, after yesterday's weather, cozy. I wrapped up in my fleece jam ja jacket and I was cozy. Cozy. Number two, snowy. Yesterday was a snowy day. Snowy. Number three, early. I got up early to play in the snow, early. Number four, one of the tricky words at the bottom. 
care. I took care of the animals in the snow. Care. And number five, baby. The sheep had a baby lamb on the snowy day. Baby. So those are your five spellings. You can pause it now and go back and listen to them again. Um, next, we're going to do five phonics. Okay, this one I'm gonna to have to call out kind of quick or else the video will be five hours long. <laughs> so just pause it, stop it and rewind it to hear them again if you need to. So number one, Tom got a nasty sting on his neck. Number two, it is wet and misty. Number three, the rash on my left leg is itchy. Ever car? 10 and 10 makes 20. And Ever Cooey, number five. The pig sty is smelly. The pig sty is smelly. I gave you an extra one there. I gave you an extra one of the pig sty ones. So those are your five. Stop it, pause it, rewind, listen again, and write each sentence out in your copy page, whatever way you want to do. Okay? Here are the five tables. So you can pause the video and have a look and do these five tables. Go. Okay. We're on Friday test week 22. I'm going to pick five. Last week I picked the even numbers from one to 10. This week I'm picking the odd numbers from one to 10, which are these. Question one, three, five, seven, nine. We'll do those together. Question one is what's half of 20? Half of 20. You can do it in your head. As always, I like to draw a picture. Okay, I've drawn 20 um, jelly beans. Um, I've done them in kind of a nice, neat set. Okay, and I'm going to split them down the middle in half and see how much is one half of them. So there's one half. How many is one half? So all together is 20. What's in half? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is half of 20. Okay. Question three. Oh, I like this one. It's it's nice. What is one less than 100? So first clue in that is the word less. That always means we take away, we minus, we subtract, okay? Uh, one less than 100, okay? So they're asking us what's 100, take away one. Uh, what's the answer to that? They're asking us to go back one step before 100. What's the number that comes before 100, one step before it? What is it? 99. Count back one, 100, 99, 98, 90. So what's one step back? 99, 99. Oh, question five, 3D shape question. A sphere has how many corners? Now, first question or thing, thing that I'm thinking of there is, I have to think about what's a sphere? Well, what's a sphere? Basically a ball, okay? a ball, and how many corners has this 3D shaped sphere? Well, guess what? No corners. You can't stack it, it has no flat edges, it has no vertices, it is all one face, and it has no corners. So, the answer is zero. Ha ha, question seven. I'm so glad there's one of these here because um, we were uh, working on this during the week. Which is the greatest? One quarter, liter, a quarter of a liter, half of a liter, or one whole liter, okay? 
First of all, when we're talking about liters, you're talking about liquids. Okay, so always in your mind, think of your carton of milk, your bottle of water. Bottles. Next, it's a fraction question. It wants to know what's the greatest fraction which you've done in the week before last in your book. So let's draw out the different fractions. So quarters is means the bottle is divided into four equal parts. There's one quarter. Okay, colored in a liter. Halves means it's in two equal parts. So I'm gonna color in this amount, but that is also two quarters, the same amount as two quarters. And this is the whole, one whole bottle, which is the same as four quarters all colored in and the two halves all colored in one liter, which is the greatest amount of liquid, a quarter, a half or a whole. Well, it is one whole liter. And question nine is, uh, the width of your finger is approximately. So it's a measurement question. Um, it's um, asking you, is your finger in cent one centimeter, one meter, or one kilogram? Okay. Well, we can, we can rule out kilogram because kilograms are weights, uh, is, is a weight, is a measurement of weight. So you're, when you're thinking of kilograms, think of the bag of sugar. Okay. We don't measure um, our fingers in how many bags of sugar they are, no. The next one that I can see a problem with is a meter. One meter, you know from the meter stick at school, is, you know, a long stick. It's a long measurement. In, my finger is definitely not that fat. It would not, you, I, I wouldn't be measuring fingers in meter sticks. It's too big. So the other option is centimeters. And we know we have centimeters on our ruler. Um, and here they are. Okay. And yes, my finger fits along there fairly well. I can say one, two, three, four, you know, it would fit. And so I would measure fingers in centimeters because that's what makes sense and is the easiest way to measure. So, centimeters. Okay. Well done. That's work it out done. All our tests done. Um, let's get on to Fun Day Friday. Okay, for Fun Day Friday, I thought uh, a lot of people seem to have um, sheep at home. So I found the hardest tongue twister in the English language and it's got sheep in it. So see, can you say this as many times as you can, get other people to say it at home. It is sixth, sick, sheiks, Sorry, sixth, sick, sheeks, sixth, sheeps, sick. The sixth, sick, sheeks, sixth, sheeps, sick. <gasps> Say it really, really fast. It's a tongue, <laughs> la, 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 la. tongue twister. Have a great weekend. Slaan, and talk to you next week.